While wearing this exoskeleton, you can carry objects weighing 90 kilograms for miles without any effort. With this exoskeleton, even people with severe disabilities can walk again. There are already quite a few different exoskeletons available, and although the technology is still in its infancy, some models are already being used successfully. The newest versions are basically portable robots or machines that support or amplify the wearer's movements. Of course, this is extremely useful in an unbelievable number of areas, for example, the military, medicine, or even at work. Today, we'll take a look at which different models are available and what they can do. The first exoskeleton powered by electric motors, hydraulics, and the like was the Hardy Man. Design-wise, this thing looks like something from a sci-fi movie, but in reality, it's much older than most of these movies because it's actually from the late 1960s. The machine was built to allow the wearer to lift loads of up to 680 kilograms, but the project wasn't really successful. In the end, the suit weighed 750 kilograms and could only lift 340 kilograms. It was also very difficult to control and turning on the machine resulted in jerky movements that would have severely injured anyone wearing it. But that was a long time ago and the technology has, of course, come a long way since then. Modern exoskeletons don't have much in common with the Hardy Man anymore. One of the strongest products is the XOS2, developed by Sarcos and Raytheon. This device was designed to give you the power of three men. In tests, it's already been proven that a person wearing the suit can lift heavy loads of up to 90 kilograms hundreds of times without showing any signs of fatigue. In addition, the wearer is also able to work much faster than three people without the exoskeleton. This superhuman strength is possible thanks to the hydraulic support the XOS2 provides. Compared to the XOS1, the new model is significantly lighter and uses much less energy. However, at the same time, it is even more powerful. The hydraulic suit was developed primarily for the military, but before it is actually used in practice, it has to become more resistant to environmental influences first. And the most important thing is that it has to work without a direct power connection. Unfortunately, there currently isn't a battery that lasts long enough to power the exoskeleton for a few hours, and is light enough to be able to be used with the suit. So as you can see, there are still a few obstacles to overcome before the soldiers can run around like they do in Edge of Tomorrow. An interesting military project of another company is the Human Universal Load Carrier, or Hulk. This exoskeleton was developed for the US Army as well, first by Berkeley Bionics and later by Lockheed Martin, who otherwise mainly manufacture aircraft and jets for the US Air Force. Above all, Hulk was developed to reduce the burden on the body when carrying a heavy load. This is to prevent injuries that occur more frequently in soldiers carrying heavy items. With the system, you can easily carry 200 pounds or 90 kilograms over long distances. The man in the suit still has to work hard, but most of the burden is directed into the ground through the Hulk's shoes. Hulk has been designed to be as flexible as possible, so movements are hardly restricted, which is quite important for soldiers. There is no joystick or button control. The system uses its sensors to detect movements and a built-in microcomputer controls the exoskeleton to support the wearer. The construction itself is made of titanium and can be extended with different components due to its modular design. However, the battery performance is still not good enough, so that Hulk has been tested only as a prototype but never mass-produced. As you can see, whole-body exoskeletons that give you a big boost in strength still have problems, especially when it comes to their energy consumption. That's why there are interim solutions such as lower body exoskeletons. The Warrior Web exosuit is lightweight, flexible, and helps to prevent injuries by helping you move. With this model, you can also run, jump, and crawl without being hindered by the suit too much. Since the exosuit is intended only for the lower body, the soldier can still wear his standard protective gear as well. Compared to the previous exoskeletons, the Warrior Web exosuit does not make you much stronger, but it reduces the risk of chronic injuries that can occur, for example, on long marches with heavy luggage. Doesn't sound too bad, does it? But there are also exoskeletons with completely different functions. An example of this is Power Walk. This exoskeleton not only looks cool, but it can also convert energy and harness it for the wearer. On longer missions, soldiers need a lot of batteries to operate all their technical equipment the whole time they need it. For example, GPS, night vision, or communication devices. All of these batteries can weigh as much as 7 to 8 kilograms, which is significantly more than I would have expected. 
The power walk system could be a great solution for that in the future. The kinetic energy created during walking is partially absorbed by the knee's external skeleton and converted into electrical energy. You can then use this energy to recharge your batteries. Instead of carrying several kilograms of batteries, soldiers using the power walk would therefore only need a few they could charge again and again simply by walking. Not a bad idea if you ask me. However, we still have to wait and see whether the invention will actually prove itself successful in the future. But enough of the military. There are a lot of cool exoskeletons being used in other areas of life as well. Especially the medical sector has many interesting models to offer. The one that is best known is definitely Rewalk. The exoskeleton was developed by a physician who suffers from paraplegia and is intended to be used by paraplegics. With the system, people who weigh up to 100 kilograms can get out of their wheelchair, walk, and even climb stairs. Since the exoskeleton is adapted to its wearer, it can help them to achieve a natural gait. Many paraplegics dream of being able to walk again one day, but the invention should not be overestimated. Rewalk will help them be able to walk again for a while. However, walking with the exoskeleton is still quite exhausting. You also need crutches for support and a lot of training to even get that far. In addition, such a device is not exactly cheap. The technology alone costs about 50,000 euros, but that's not even it. To learn how to use it, you also need many hours of training with specially trained physiotherapists and sports therapists. As you can see, going from a wheelchair to walking with rewalk is pretty hard and expensive. Nevertheless, the technology will certainly get much better in the future. The company also wants to develop exoskeleton systems for many other ailments. I'm really curious what will happen in the next few years. In the meantime, Spanish researchers have developed an exoskeleton for children. Their invention is intended to help children suffering from spinal muscular atrophy. This rare disease leads to muscle loss, which in turn leads to paralysis. This 12 kilogram monster made of aluminum and titanium should allow children with the disease to walk again. For this purpose, five motors in each leg, controlled by multiple sensors and a computer unit, help them to move. The skeleton even has extendable elements so it can be adapted to the growth of the children. Especially for sick children, walking is very important because otherwise their spine can't develop properly, which then leads to a significantly lower life expectancy. The next exoskeleton looks really futuristic and was developed in Japan. The hybrid assistive limb, or HAL, was already designed in the 1990s and has since been modified and improved. The suit is already quite widespread and used in 130 different medical institutes in Japan. There are even some being used in Germany. It functions as follows. During movement, nerve signals are sent from the brain to the muscles, producing biological signals that the robot suit can perceive via sensors on the skin. As a result, the exoskeleton moves at the same time as your muscles and can therefore support you perfectly. Originally, the system was intended for the elderly and people with disabilities to support them in their everyday life. However, it can also be used for heavy physical work to reduce the burden on the body. For example, the suit is being used by bankers in Japan who regularly need to lift heavy money packages, and it also helps workers during the harvest. In addition, HAL is available as a lower body exoskeleton which is used as walking support for police officers. As you can see, the possibilities are endless. But not only the military and modern medicine can benefit from exoskeletons. Various industries would certainly have uses for models such as this one developed by Hyundai as well. The so-called H-Lex was already completed in 2015 and can easily move 60 kilogram objects without sweating even a tiny bit. The robo-suit is equipped with your arms and legs, and there is a simple control on the handle to control the gripper arm. By now, Hyundai has allegedly even significantly improved the H-Lex and made it smaller and lighter, which of course would make it much more comfortable to wear. Looking at it, the device already seems to be pretty strong. And finally, we still have two additional exoskeletons. Exovest. This model is used in the factories of Ford. It's not quite as cool as the other bionic exosuits, but it's still very useful. Through the exovest, pressure is shifted from the arms to the legs, which gives you much more strength. Above all, it prevents injuries that occur during factory work. These injuries are mainly shoulder problems due to constantly working above your head. Other manufacturers such as BMW also use passive exoskeletons without a robot drive. And last but not least, I have an exoskeleton for you that's really handy, and that's Nuni. With Nuni, you can sit anytime, anywhere. Of course, that's useful for factory workers as well. 
With two shoulder straps and a waist belt, the device is easily equipped and a small lever is used to adjust the fit of the exoskeleton. Once you've found the desired position, you can start walking, and when you get tired, you can simply sit down in the air and the outer skeleton snaps into the locking position. A very practical invention. Which one of the exoskeletons in this video would you like to wear? And what do you think might be possible with better exosuits in the future? Write it in the comments down below. And until next time, bye!